Hello friends, my name is Alyssa and I'm the Science Program Manager at Boston Children's Museum. And I have a really fun, really simple activity that I want to show you today. It is a great activity to do outside. In fact, you can't do it inside. It's called Alka-Seltzer Rockets. And what you need to do it are water, Alka-Seltzer tablets, and it doesn't have to be the real Alka-Seltzer. You can see I've got your store brand, CVS brand. That's fine. And then this might be the hardest thing to find, film canisters. If you go to like a CVS or a Walgreens or a Target or any place that still processes film, you can ask them for these film canisters because they probably don't want them. And it's important that you get this kind, the kind that has the snap-on lid. There's another kind, they're usually black and they have a gray lid and you don't want those. They won't work for this activity. So make sure you're getting this kind of film canister. Now I'm going to describe for you how to do the activity before I actually do it because you have to be pretty quick about it, so I want to make sure you know what I'm doing. Okay? So, what you'll do is you'll take your film canister and fill it about halfway with water. Then take one of your Alka-Seltzer pieces and break it up like this. Then decide how many of those pieces you want to put in your film canister. For your first shot, I suggest you pick maybe like two or three medium-sized pieces like this. You'll drop those into your film canister, snap the lid on, turn it upside down, and put it down on the ground. And then step back. Because when these shoot off, they have a lot of force, and you don't want to be standing right over them. You might get hit in the face, and you don't want that to happen. Okay? Water. Alka-Seltzer, lid, upside down, step back. Those are your steps, okay? Now I'm gonna try one. Ready? Okay. Got my Alka-Seltzer pieces, film canister, water. Filled this about halfway with water. Now I'm getting ready. I've got my cap in one hand, my Alka Seltzer in the other. I'm gonna get ready to go. Ready? One, two, three. Stepping back. Let's count. One, two, three, four. That was pretty good. Here we go. About halfway full of water. And then super quick, I'm going to put the Alka-Seltzer in, put the cap on, turn it upside down, and I'm going to step back. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, <laughs> it knocked one of my flowers off. For a second there, I thought it was going to go into the neighbor's yard, but it landed on my side of the fence. Whew. Now comes my favorite part of this experiment. You get to play around with variables. And when you're doing an experiment, a variable is changing one thing to see if that has any effect on your results. And for this experiment, there's a lot of things you can change around. But when you're playing with the variables, it's important that you only change one thing at a time. If you change too many things and you get different results, you won't know which of those things is actually having an effect. So if you keep everything the same but change one thing and you get different results, you'll know that that one thing is the reason. Make sense? 
Here's some of the variables you can explore with Alka-Seltzer rockets. What happens if you change the temperature of the water? Does warm or cold water give you different results? What if you change the amount of water? Do you think your rocket will go higher with more water or less water? You can change the size of the pieces of Alka-Seltzer you use and how many pieces you use. Well, I hope you have a lot of fun with this experiment. It is one of my favorites and it's so simple to do. Thanks for joining me today. Keep checking back here on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for more fun activities to try. And we hope to see you real soon at the Boston Children's Museum.